Hi sixth graders, this is Margaret and I wanted to share some knowledge about these trees right here. These trees grow all over our campus and you can know that, or you normally notice these trees for their red bark that is really smooth. And these trees actually grow all around California. So if you ever go outside, you might be able to find some because there's so many different types of these types of trees that live everywhere in California. So you can find ones that maybe are low to the ground or ones that are taller to the ground. But one way that you can tell that there are these trees is because of this red, smooth bark. Another way that allows you to tell Oh, <laughs> another way that you can learn about these trees is through their small berries. And I'm going to talk about the name of this tree because that'll help us learn more about their berries. And the name of this tree is called Manzanita. And that name comes from the word Manzana. And Manzana in English means apple, but it's the Spanish word. So their berries are actually tiny, small apples that are red, or they look like small, tiny apples. And those berries, they're not growing on the tree right now, but their flowers are actually growing on the tree. And this is really high up. So let's head over to this tree right here. Oh yeah. And you can see the tiny flowers mm. of the manzanita tree that look like tiny apples. This is beautiful. This and is really nice. What's awesome about these flowers is these are actually really sweet and you can eat them. So I want you to think if you're sitting at home and we found what kind of animals live here at Foothill Horizons and make you think about what some other animals like birds and things. We just saw an Anna's hummingbird. But what kind of animals do you think might eat these fruit, these flowers? And then what kind of animals do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the, the snow, snow. is melting. The snow is melting. What kind of animals do you think might eat the red berries, the little apples, because those will become, those will turn from the flower to the fruit and then animals could come along and eat those fruit. And I want you to think, what animals here at Foothill Horizons do we have that would eat these and what, how do these trees help those animals survive here? So something that happens in the California ecosystem quite a bit, as you might know, is drought. Times when it's really, really dry or even times when we have forest fires and fire season. Manzanita trees have an adaptation, which means something that they have changed about them to help them survive. An adaptation to help them in those times. So come on closer and you can see that. You might have to come really close. Parts of this tree are really healthy and red and really, really thriving. And then there's parts of the tree that look dead. But at the top, we can see that there are still a lot of green leaves and this tree is not dead. Well, it's still alive, but an adaptation manzanitas have is that they can cut off nutrients and water to some parts during those times of drought. So maybe there's not enough water right now for the whole tree to be red and healthy. So the tree will just shut off some nutrients water to this part and maybe later it will uh, regrow green bark or red bark in that area when there's more water. A really cool way manzanitas survive in this dry environment. 